Last night, President Biden sat down for his first television interview since his disastrous debate performance. The president saying he wouldn't drop out of the race. But Democratic donors and some Democrats in Congress are calling on him to do just that. Here's ABC's Perry Russell with the details. President Biden sitting down for an exclusive TV interview with ABC's George Stephanopoulos, his first since his poor performance in the presidential debate. But your friend Nancy Pelosi actually framed the question that I think is on the minds of millions of Americans. Was this a bad episode or the sign of a more serious condition? It's a bad episode. Uh, no indication of any serious condition. I was exhausted. I didn't listen to my instincts in terms of preparing and I had a bad night. The president pressed on whether he's fit to serve another term. Do you have the mental and physical capacity to do it for another four years? I believe so. I wouldn't be running if I didn't think I did. Look, I'm running again because I think I understand best what has to be done to take this nation to a completely new, new level. There is growing panic in the Democratic Party. ABC's Rachel Bay describing some of the text messages she received during the interview. He's done. Pack it in. One member texted my colleague that we've got a mad king here. I mean, no, this didn't calm the waters is the short answer. But I do think a lot of Democrats were actually shocked by the state of denial that Joe Biden is in right now. Do you really believe you're not behind right now? I think it's all the pollsters I talk to tell me it's a toss up. A source tells ABC News a group of donors is working to raise as much as $100 million to support a candidate to replace Biden. Netflix co-founder Reed Hastings, a major Democratic donor, saying after the interview, the president is unfortunately in denial about his mental state. Biden says he's determined to stay in the race. I don't think anybody's more qualified to be president or win this race than me. The Biden team calling the interview strong and solid. That optimistic spin from the White House has some Democrats concerned. His inner circle is shielding him from reality. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.